The name is really hitting hard now. Heya folks, how are you doing? I'm back with Undead Unluck episode 23 review. At first we see Anno warn the undermembers not to interfere with Andy's situation with Fuko, threatening them with death if they do. Unrepaired demands information about the future from Anno and threatens to kill Andy and Fuko if he refuses. Sean expresses his desire to kill Fuko to advance in the unders ranks. Meanwhile, Unrepair and Anno engage in a confrontation. The scene shifts to a flashback involving a boy named Akira Kuno, revealing his close bond with his mother and his passion for drawing. Akira discovers the G-Liner artifact, enabling him to glimpse both the past and future of their world. I'm trying to figure out how they found Anno's place, I guess they tracked Fuko and Andy or something like that. Also Anno's gender finally got confirmed and it seems he is a guy, so yeah, that's that. We see that after bumping into a mysterious man, Akira hurries home to draw the figures he saw in his mind. Excited to share his drawings with his mother, Akira eagerly awaits her return. However, when she walks through him, he realizes he has become a negator. Hearing his mother's cries, Akira leaves home and begins drawing pictures of Andy and Fuko, considering them his favorite characters due to their qualities and actions. Eventually, he decides to create a different story titled to you, from me under the pen name Anolan, submitting it to a contest and winning. Overjoyed by his success, Anna reflects on whether the events he witnessed involving Andy and Fuko were real or not while working at Shuisha's office. Anna's backstory hit me far too hard, I mean just imagine how would your kid self feel if you suddenly become unnoticeable to everyone, and your loved ones start searching for you like crazy even though you are right in front of them, and no matter how much you try they won't know that you are there. Honestly I would prefer dying rather than living in an unending nightmare like that. Moving on we see Anno, after recalling Andy's usual visits to Japan's forests around this time, decides to visit the forest to confirm Andy's existence. Spotting Andy with a female companion, Anno reflects on the struggles of negators and the inevitable fate of everyone perishing. Despite knowing future events, he ponders if he can warn them and decides to create a manga to aid them without hindering their growth. Anno prioritizes altering the outcome of Andy and the others' battle with Autumn. In the present, as Fuko exits Andy's memory book, Anno instructs Andy to use an attack to slice the area in half. Anno risking everything for Andy and Fuko kinda surprised me, but he learned about them as a kid and all their experiences must have left a great impression on him, so I guess it makes sense. Next we see Anno's intervention saves Fuko from Unseen's deadly attack, though she reacts with disgust upon seeing his body. Andy urges her to be grateful for Anno's assistance. The duo plans to confront Under and Autumn, with Anno expressing joy at seeing his favorite characters thrive. When they confront Bax and Unrepair, Fuko suggests cooperating to capture Autumn. Unrepair agrees but emphasizes that their interests must align, offering collaboration if they share information about Ark but threatening to kill them otherwise. It looks like all the members of Under have different goals, and their group doesn't work very well together, because each of them can do anything for their own goals, so I don't think Under will last very long. At the end we see Anno inform Unrepair that he and Latla cannot control Ark, warning that Unrepair risks losing Latla if he persists in pursuing it. Unrepair asserts his willingness to take that risk, with Latla supporting his decision. Both parties converge on Autumn as they prepare to confront the impending threat. From what I have understood so far, the future can be changed depending on the choices people make and with their actions, so I really don't get why Anno is acting as if Unrepair can't change his future. Also I wonder who leaked information about the Ark, because from what has been shown this far, only Juwise, Victor, and Apocalypse knew about the Ark. Overall this episode caught me off guard, because I wasn't expecting Anno's backstory right now, but it was good and I loved it even though it made me sad. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description, until then see ya.